Purple Heart Recognition Day in Dunedin was August 7th, the first Friday of August as usual, but this year, the annual Purple Heart Recognition Ceremony was held at 6.30 p.m. The evening start time allowed for an even bigger turnout to show their respect for our military men and women. When I see so many people here, veterans here, especially the number of uh, Purple Heart recipients that had stood up right here in Dunedin and we're such a small community, um, it really lays heavy on you, the sacrifice that even a small community you know, makes towards the betterment of our own country. Being the first Purple Heart city in the state of Florida is a matter of pride for Dunedin. People are very proud that we honor our military. We have a number of, of things that we do, including uh, celebrating Purple Heart Day and having Purple Heart Park, but we do many other things. We have our welcome back to our, our, our residents when a military man comes home or a lady comes home. We, we hang their name over, the, over right here on Main Street and um, uh, Alternate 19, and we, we do a lot just a number of different veterans' issues and, and support that we feel are really, really important. And this annual event means a lot to those who served our country. It's great that Dunedin puts the effort that it does for, especially us Vietnam veterans. Uh, I love Dunedin as a community, and um, it's always treated veterans well. Purple Heart Recognition Day in Dunedin is a yearly event that has not lost its significance or importance over time. It keeps growing, it's our eighth anniversary. Uh, this was our first year that we did it in the evening and it was on a Friday night, so there's a lots of activity going on in the downtown. We really are a diverse community. We love arts, culture, music, um, the environment, and we love our veterans, and that's what makes Dunedin the unique place it is. Watch the whole ceremony on the city's YouTube channel at youtube.com slash cityofdunedinfl. If you don't get a chance to see it, be sure to attend next year's ceremony. And in the meantime, if you see a service person, be sure to say thank you.